How you doing, Carl? Hi, Wayne. Welcome back to the diesel stop. Today I'm going to be installing a set of 200 horse injectors into my 2001 Dodge Cummins here. And I installed a set of uh, 100 horse injectors into this thing and wasn't too satisfied with 100 horse injectors so we're going to pull them back out and go with 200 horse injectors. These injectors are coming from Pure Marquette Diesel. If you guys get the chance, check them out. They have got some pretty wicked stuff. And then um, to do this job here, some of the tools that we're going to be using are uh, from Torque Tools. Anyhow, here's the uh, set of 200 horse injectors on the bottom there. Those are the uh, stock injectors on the top. So the uh, tools, that uh, Torque Tools that we're going to be using here is going to be uh, the injector puller plus a uh, connector tube puller as well. And this is the connector puller, connector tube puller. So uh, I'm going to get the camera set up here and we'll get started. So the first thing I'm doing here is removing the intake. This is the uh, bell crank. I'm just going to unplug that there and set this off to the side. We're going to set the grid heater off to the side as well. And we do have the batteries unplugged right now. So I'm going to uh, unplug the injection pump here. It's just a matter of pulling that back and then unplugging it here. Yeah, the next thing I'm going to do here is uh, start removing injection lines and all the uh, brackets that hold down the injection lines to the uh, head there. I have unplugged this electrical connection that sits here on the uh, firewall and unbolted the thing and set it off to the side here. And this here was a uh, vacuum line that goes into a T that goes across. It's getting some of this stuff out of my way here. And then uh, the next thing I did is pull the engine lifting eye bracket out of the way so I can reach the uh, number six injection line in the very back there. And I have all the injection lines loose now. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the injection lines off the uh, injection pump here. Now I've shoved the rag in the uh, intake so we don't lose any parts inside the intake there. And uh, same with the uh, inner cooler here. So I'm going to take the uh, first half of the injection lines off here. 
And then I'll be able to get into the uh, second set. thing I'm going to do here is remove the rocker arms. And I'm going to keep everything in order here. Next thing we're going to do here is get a 8 millimeter socket and take the injector retaining bolts out. As soon as I find me an 8 millimeter here. Like I said, we're going to keep everything in the same order where it came out from. This is what the injector retainer looks like here. So to pull this injector out here, you got to have a couple of tools, and like I said, this here is made by Torque Tools. This is your connector tube puller, and this is going to screw into the uh, side of the uh, head here. You don't have to. Uh, get this real tight down on there or anything like that and get you a flathead screwdriver and get behind it and pop that connector tube out and I've already had these uh, connector tubes out here not too long ago so it'll these slide out pretty easy and this here is the connector tube So once the uh, connector tube is out, we're going to use another tool that is made by Torque Tools. This one here is the CIP040. 
So we're going to set this on top of the injector. We're going to stick our little plate on there. And we're going to run our stud down into the injector. We're going to take us a 13 millimeter wrench and pop that injector out of there. These injectors, like I said, they shouldn't be that hard coming out of there because they haven't been in there but maybe a month or so. And this here is your injector. So I'm going to continue pulling these injectors out here. When you're pulling these out, you want to make sure that the uh, copper comes out with it there, the uh, copper gasket. Because if not, you're going to have to go fishing for it there. You don't want to leave it in there and then uh, set another injector on top of that gasket. These injectors here, they're coming out really easy. 